There was a leaked phone call from Tory Lanez to Kelsey. I'm in the hospital. I'm outside the hospital. Wow, that's really hot. Wow, what? You said what? You're listening to Street TV. I said Megan's in the hospital, so I'm um, I'm outside the hospital waiting. What hospital are you at? Uh, I don't know. Um, let me see. Cedar, something like that, Cedar. You know, you know, he did that shit. Sure. Cedar Sinai. I know she probably never, ever going to talk to me ever again, but... Bruh, I just want you to know, bruh. Nigga, I was just so fucking drunk, nigga. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. That ass. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. Like, that ass, nigga. I'd never do some shit like that, bro. Just that, that nigga, I was so fucking drunk, nigga. I just didn't even understand what the fuck was going on, bro. Like... What do you think he's talking about here? It could be anything, right? I mean, according to academics, it could be anything, right? Like, DJ Acrobatics... <laughs> I mean, it could be anything, right? Like, wow, even the chat going, he snitched on himself. This video got to be cap. So, uh, whatever. Yeah. So, but, you know, regardless, that's not going to make anything right. And that's not going to make my actions right, bro. But I'm just deeply sorry, bro. I never even moved like that, bro. Like, never moved like that at all, bro. Like, for real, for real, dog. I think he just apologized for the situation in general. Just like the way the vibe was. Yeah, dude, that I would be that apologetic in a situation like that. Yeah, he's talking about Kylie Jenner probably. Yeah, and Megan also, uh, Megan Kuniff said, I can easily confirm that the audio floating around a Tory Lanez's jail, jail call to Kelsey, the gunshots, Kelsey's interview with prosecutors, etc., are authentic. Court can release exhibits after trials, and that's what happened here. I don't have my own copies yet, but will soon. I met YouTuber Neek at night in court and really admired her gumption. She has the audio on her channel, including this of Tory's jail call to Kelsey. This is what I always saw as being pretty bad evidence for Tory that his lawyer didn't address much. I should add that I, of course, have not listened to every single recording that's out there, so there could be edits and stuff taken out, but everything I've heard sounds authentic. Here's the full recording of Kelsey's September interview with prosecutors, which, remember, never would have come into evidence if Tory's lawyer hadn't pressed her in cross about prosecutors supposedly pressuring her during it. Keep in mind when listening to Tory's jail call to Kelsey that his lawyer's explanation for it to the jurors who convicted Tory on all three counts is he's not apologizing for firing the gun. He's apologizing for causing the jealous fight between Kelsey and Megan Thee Stallion. That's what DJ Academics fucking said was going on. That's what DJ Academics inferred was going on. That's what Fresh and Fit inferred was going on. That's what they said in this circumstance. I just want to point this out one more time. It seems like I'm doing a celebratory lap here. But uh, this should be a teachable moment for every single party involved in this to not get your fucking news from incredibly biased, uh, uh, one-sided perspectives because you will be caught with your fucking pants down. In this day, like... I don't know. There's a lot, a lot that happens, but... A whole lot, bro. Like, a whole lot, bro. I feel like... I feel crazy, bro, but... In this day, like, what happened happened already, bro. I can't take it back, bro. I just felt, I'm just telling y'all, I'm sorry, bro. Like, you're listening to Street TV. I think it was just too drunk, bro. You know what I'm saying? When I got to, when I got to the house, uh. Well, you're incredibly biased to the left leaning. Well, at least I admit what my biases are. And I usually will literally tell you if I'm speculating on an issue, and I might even be biased about my speculation, I will always tell you that. I literally always tell you that i'm like i might be biased here i might i and i'm speculating on this there are facts material facts okay that i will clearly tell you are just material facts but when i'm speculating on said facts i will tell you that i'm speculating on it he apologizes for smashing kelsey and meg that's what his mod is spamming sure he's like all oh, top niggas they gave me like five shots like off the door like you feel me so i was out of there like wait what to street tv I think it was just too drunk bro you know what i'm saying yeah. when i got to when i got to the house uh i'm sure he's like all oh, top niggas they gave me like five shots like off the door like you feel me so i was out of there like wasn't even there with niggas like oh you're talking about out of he was taking shots past that time i wasn't even there with niggas like bro i don't even know i don't even remember what we was even arguing about bro like you feel me?
Wait, he doesn't remember what they were arguing about. So why is he apologizing about causing the argument if that's what he's? Doing? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Um, I didn't even. I was already fucked up by the time you got there, so I don't. I don't know how much. It's like you know, but tell me, tell me what um what hospital she's in. You're listening to Street TV. I just told you, uh, Cedar. Rap making it their goal. Leaked documents reveals Tory, Tory Lanez was found not guilty. Breaking Romanian officials have confirmed that Andrew Tate wasn't arrested on human trafficking charges. However, he's being questioned for money laundering. This is also false. And the unfortunate problem is that, like, people keep fucking repeating these falsehoods. Okay? I don't know what to do about this. Like, I mean, I thought that Rap TV was, like, mostly just a fucking meme. But, obviously, people's biases are so powerful that, like, if they want to believe that Andrew Tate is, like, not doing sex trafficking, they're just going to believe it, right? It is wild to see, of course, uh, all of the things that I said happen. Um, anyway, here's CJ Lawrence. Uh, I really wasn't going to say anything else about the Tory Lane's case, but in light of the audio, which didn't leak, it's public record, I feel the need to say this. Megan Thee Stallion is one of the most popular black women in the world, and she was a victim of violence. Even with three eyewitnesses, including herself as a victim, bullet fragments in her feet, video of her bleeding from the feet, there were people who chose not to believe her rather than to believe something that made no sense at all. It wasn't until some heard Tory himself acknowledging that he had wronged Megan on a phone call to Kelsey that some finally conceded that what happened to Megan is what Megan said happened to her. And that's the fucking problem. Because for some, it's not the victim's word, nor the eyewitnesses, nor surgeons that satisfy the minds of those who are absurdly and delusionally skeptical about what happened to Meg. But finally hearing an audio recording of the person who committed the act of violence against her, apologetic for having wronged her. Some motherfuckers need a man to say they did the thing because they just will not believe when women say that the thing happened because they're just like operating on women always lie women be trifling women always lie they're notorious liars they're operating on that on that basis and if you operate on that basis you're gonna get things wrong a lot i'm not saying that women do not have the capacity to lie of course they do everyone does but in a situation like this you have to assess it adequately there's pretty much no way to full counter these guys because their belief is unprovable like obviously tory shot meg but they're so deep into this conspiracy they'll find any reason to say it's an operation from the feds and megan is somehow an asset who's protecting kelsey despite her literally betraying her yeah there and yet bloggers slaw ass lawyers people who outright despise women and more specifically black women uh were in you were united in their belief that somehow in spite of all this someone other than the person who committed the act must be responsible for the uh violence and that is terrifying. Why? Because if Megan Thee Stallion uh, is one of the most popular black women in entertainment and who was the most demand, in-demand artist at festivals in 2021, has to struggle simply to be believed by the public, even with a mountain of evidence on her side, this is exactly the point I made as well. This is a brilliant point. This is an important fucking point for people to understand. If this happens to Megan the fucking Stallion, then holy fuck, think about all of the millions of different instances where like people just straight up do not give a fuck because... Uh, the uh, the victim that happens to be a black woman is also not one of the most popular black women on the planet. It's crazy. Uh, she's not really popping. That is a demonstrable falsehood. You are out of your fucking mind, dude. That's insane. Megan Thee Stallion is insanely popular. Incredibly popular. Infinitely more popular than Tory Lanez, especially. Come on. Come the fuck on, dude. I don't know about that one. You think Megan the Stallion? Not gonna lie, I don't give a fuck about her stank ass. Oh, yuck. You're fucking disgusting, dude. You're an awful person. Like, Tori is way more famous than Megan. What? I mean, you're Turkish, so your opinion is automatically discarded, okay? The fuck do you know, dumbass? And a Galatasaray fan. Most sane Galatasaray fan in the chat. Just average, average Galatasaray fan. Okay, guys. Like, popularity of this sort, especially when there is such a gigantic fucking... Especially when there is such a gigantic difference uh, between the two and how much clout they have is, is you know, is not even up for debate. The funniest part about this, like, people saying check Spotify. I don't know how to check people's Spotify. Uh, you know, oh, there it is. But Tory Lanez, the irony is that Tory Lanez's monthly listeners most likely went up because, okay, because Tory Lanez fucking shot Megan Thee Stallion. So just remember that. So when you when you actually bring up Tory Lanez in this situation, 
You his Google trends. If you look at it like over the past five fucking years, yeah, look at this. There you go. It's always the court case. It's always related to the court case. Look at this. Look, Megan the Stallion and, and and Tory Lanez like whatever Google Google uh, searches, and then it's literally every time after a certain point once this once it hits the fucking court case, it's like that's it. Didn't Sean C mention that he's been releasing way more music recently, knowing his conviction was coming? Yeah. Wait, did you just look at only in Canada? The fuck? Bro, did you just send me the Canadian the Canadian sample? That's awesome. This is worldwide. It's a more accurate assessment. This is like, you know, back in 2018. Since 2016, Tory Lanez was... Uh, 2016 is pretty much the last time Tory Lanez was popping. The shooting happens right here where they both peak. But since 2019, Megan Thee Stallion is like a more relevant figure in culture because... That's when she blew up. And then that never really goes away. And the only time that Tory Lanez actually like uh, was able to garner more popularity is this recent court case. And that's it. Tory Lanez has zero number one billboard hits, one number 10 hit, 15 songs. Megan Thee Stallion has two number one hits and three top 10 hits. I think this is this year too. You're talking about this year, right? His top 10 hit was a Jack Harlow remix. <laughs> yeah. That was the was poppin' feature, right? Yeah. Here's the streaming numbers where you can look back on numbers by clicking monthly listeners for Tory Lanez. Where is it? Oh, this is all time. It only goes back to 2017. This is unfair because, like, this is when he's not making music. He was making music in 2016, you know what I mean? What the fuck? No shot. There is no way this man got put on playlists. No, he was blowing up before the shooting. I was going to say, there is no way. No, no, no. This is DJ Academics is right. The, I, I'll admit one thing about what DJ Academic said. This, this clearly during COVID, he started popping off, and and he's right. He's right. He's right. This is quarantine radio. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, he was popping on IG Live during quarantine radio, so that's why he was getting uh, put on playlists and stuff like that. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> no fucking way did he. <laughs> that would have been wild if he fucking actually shot uh, Megan Thee Stallion, and then like his his features went up, but then of course it did. His song was popping out really popular on TikTok. That wasn't his song. It's a it's a Jack Harlow song that he had a feature on. I, I wanted to show you Tory Lanez's like statement on his and use his own words here because like that is what DJ Academics defended. But now that it's like out because it was a matter of public record and the court released this information, now you can get a better understanding of what actually had happened. And you know, maybe you can consider I, I think there's something that's good about this overall. I know that, like, ultimately, it still had to be a man basically fucking apologizing for what he had done. But hopefully this will still get people to go, okay, you know what? Maybe I was wrong about this. Some people. Not a lot, but hopefully some people. Maybe also on top of that, they'll, they'll reconsider where they get their information from and how they get their information. Nice Logan Paul merch. What? It's a pleasures hoodie, man. Ronaldo's going to what? Saudi Arabia? Good for him, dude. Clout, let's go. Free clout, baby.